Hello and welcome to Dubai. The world of Astoria, Dubai International Financial Center, or short DIFC, is the third Waldorf in the Emirates and is located close to the Conrad Dubai. When you enter the building, just follow the Waldorf Astoria text and logos to find the elevator. It has a nice though small lobby area from which we move on directly to our room. We received a nice upgrade to a King Premier room, which we really appreciated since the hotel was fully booked. We are also assured that Diamond guests usually receive a suite. So let's enjoy this cool and bright room with plenty of details. This really could be an elegant living and bedroom at home. There is a couch, a table with two different chairs, and a coffee machine. Additionally, the minibar is filled very well. And now let's move on to the downsides of this hotel. The true Waldorf experience usually starts with a notification mail, a few days in advance to clarify your arrival, special requests, or dinner reservations and so on. Here we received none. Usually there is some welcome gift and be it only a fruit bowl. Here, we received none. But let's move on to the bathroom. Marble design, bright and large, with two sinks, a bathtub and a shower. The financial center is closer than the Conrad to the Dubai Mall or to Burj Khalifa. From here you walk around 20 to 25 minutes, which is a nice walk in the evening. The Conrad, however, is closer to Dubai Frame instead. Has both its pros and cons. With this, we finish our room tour and move on to the restaurant Bull and Bear. One of my personal highlights. Have you ever tried to produce a perfect ice cube? It requires a special way of cooling down the water only from one side. So the result here even with the Waldorf logo inside, really impressed me. But also the other dishes were amazing and super tasty. From the appetizers, to the steak, to the desserts, it was simply delicious. In here you also get breakfast by the way, and you always can choose to sit inside or outside. Also, the staff in the restaurant was very nice and pleasant and we had some nice conversations. So Bullet Bear is therefore an absolute must if you stay in this hotel. There is also an outdoor pool high up with a bar area around. You can sit and relax here in the evening and enjoy the view. But not only in the evening, also at daytime, of course. The bar offers, besides cocktails, also some snacks. An employee in the Conrad told us about the great pool area here. And the funny thing is that an employee here told us about the amazing pool area of the Conrad. And if you saw our Conrad Dubai video, there is no doubt which pool area is definitely more impressive. The Conrad's of course. It's a complete oasis with trees on the sixth floor of a building. Well here space seems to be more of an issue. Some short impression of the Peacock Alley bar and we already move on to the breakfast. A great selection and the only thing which had an extra fee was caviar. But we can't forgive that. On the contrary we are impressed by the selection. While we enjoy the breakfast, let's come to the conclusion. For the Waldorf Astoria DIFC, we award 4.5 out of 5 diamonds. The issue with this hotel is that it's twice as expensive as the Conrad with a comparable location and similar room design. On top of that, the Conrad has an executive lounge 
and has a killer oasis on the roof of the 6th floor that will leave you in awe. In the price range of the Waldorf, the overall service has to be right, as do the details. And those have been dispensed with. When we checked out, we were given the bill for another room and then pressured into a positive TripAdvisor rating. This is just as unprofessional as the mail afterwards, in which I was addressed with Mr. Ha, which means Mr. Mr. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos from Dubai and Ras Al Khaimah, and you decide which one will be next. If there is a Hilton, a Doubletree, a Courier or a Canopy you want to see next, feel free to comment into the chat. See you out there, your Alex from Gaia Dreams.